sure I don't have any lipstick on my chin. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to Bridging the Gaps Climate and Cuisine event. We're really thrilled that you've tuned in with us tonight as we talk about our food choices and climate change and the work of Bridging the Gap. I'm Kristen Riott, Executive Director of BTG, and I want to say a big hello to all of our BTG watch parties. I see a lot of wonderful friends there. I hope everybody's enjoying all of those fabulous farm-to-table local meals from our wonderful partner restaurants. And we've had those right here in the studio as well. Mm. And they're delicious. So since 1992, Bridging the Gap has provided environmental education and action to greater Kansas City through a big slate of programs and the help of more than 1,700 volunteers each year. So it's a great time for us to say thank you to those volunteers, including our wonderful board of directors and our remarkable staff who make all of our work possible. I'd like to welcome and introduce our MC this evening, which is Cecilia Belzer Patton. So glad you're here. You. Cecilia is the founder and cultural curator of Just Systems, and she's been helping BTG with our strategy for the future. More and more, we know that we really can't make progress on environmental issues when so many people are being oppressed and denied opportunity and such a big portion of our society is just struggling to survive. So equity is becoming a very important part of our work. I agree with you, Kristen. Thank you so much for having me here. Um, I am thrilled to be here. Bridging the Gap does such great work. Developing our tree canopy, restoring prairies, recycling, energy efficiency, workforce development, and more. And all of these things are centered in equity, so we're very thankful that you all are doing that. Please check out the BTG website, bridgingthegap.org, you'll be amazed at what one environmental nonprofit does for Kansas City. Thank you. Thank you. And everybody on our team is passionate about a low impact lifestyle, and I know you are too, and that's what we're here to talk about tonight. Yes. I've learned so much from BTG about tonight's theme of climate and cuisine. You know, the global food system is responsible for about one quarter of the greenhouse gases that humans generate each year. That makes it one of the biggest targets to make an impact on climate change. Whether preparing a home-cooked meal, grabbing takeout, or snacking between meals, each bite we take shapes our landscape and our future. It's, it's massive. And, you know, we make as many as 200 food choices per day, <laughs> which I calculate as the average number of trips to the fridge during COVID. For me, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so how does the food we eat contribute to climate change? Well, all food has a carbon footprint because we cut down trees to make room to grow crops. Mm -hmm. We operate farm machinery with fossil fuels. We make fertilizer. We're shipping food all over the world. And all of these things generate global warming emissions. Mm -hmm. But some food is way more energy intensive than others. So for example, it takes about 15 pounds of grain to feed the cattle to make just one pound of hamburger produced in a conventional feedlot. Now, there are innovative ranchers out there who are raising livestock in ways that actually sequester carbon, but right now, those are the exception. I've also learned that when cows, sheep, and goats digest their food, they burp up methane, another potent greenhouse gas. Between us clearing forests and cows burping, <laughs> livestock is responsible for 14% of all carbon emissions on this planet. That's equal to all of the transportation in the world. That's trucks, planes, cars, and ships, you all, everything. So one of my sheroes on the topic of what to eat is Bridging the Gaps board member, Dr. Daphne Bascom. Mm -hmm. And she is the vice president of population health. That's all of our health mm -hmm. for St. Luke's hospitals. And she is a bodybuilder and a vegan. Goals. She's totally amazing. <laughs> yeah, she's like, <laughs> let's listen to what she has to say about climate and cuisine. Good evening. My name is Dr. Daphne Bascom, and I am the Vice President of Population Health at St. Luke's Health System and a board member of Bridging the Gap. You all know that our diet affects not only our health as individuals, but the future of the planet. The good news is that eating for your health and eating for the planet are aligned. Eating lower on the food chain with plates full of beautifully colored fruits and vegetables 
is the best thing for your body and the best thing for the planet. I am plant powered and some of my favorite foods include lentils, black beans, spinach, kale, farro, and one of my favorite treats is homemade granola topped with fruit. You don't have to become a vegetarian or a vegan to be, improve your personal health or the health of the planet. You can move gradually, one step at a time, in the direction of eating less animal protein and more plants. Eating more fruits and vegetables, just one meal a day, you can make a significant impact on your health and on the environment. Thank you so much for joining us tonight for Climate and Cuisine. So thank you, Dr. Daphne. And you don't have to be uh, a bodybuilding vegan or even a vegetarian to help with climate change. The quantity of these energy intensive foods and the frequency with which you eat them matters a lot. So just eating less is a contribution. And I know you've said, yes. you and your husband. We have gone to two, at least two plant-based meals a week. And so that's been helpful. I'm really trying to push this to all, but he's a meat and potatoes guy. Right. So the Mediterranean diet comes mm -hmm. up as being very near vegetarianism in terms of its uh, lower impacts, mm -hmm. and it's also really good for your health. Yes. So to recap, learn to cook with plant-based proteins like beans and nuts. All vegetable has proteins in them too, so leafy greens like kale and spinach. And buy locally produced foods whenever you can to, su to support small farms and reduce transportation emissions. And in our silent auction, you can buy some cricket bars. They're very low impact and they're full of protein. Would you eat one? I have tried cricket yeah. um, when I have traveled. And so I did it once, so I don't need to do it again. <laughs> I'm just like, just as long as the leg's not coming out of my mouth. I, so in preparing for this evening, I've been really inspired by the local farmers in our region, uh, like Linda Hazel of Prairie Birthday Farm, who are innovating to provide healthy, locally grown food for our community year round. Mm -hmm. And these leaders are built, helping to build our region's resilience to climate change and creating new systems to actually mitigate climate change and even sequester carbon in our soil. Mm -hmm. So we invite all of you, because our program is short tonight, to visit BTG's YouTube page for a collection of research, uh, video clips, resources, and recipes uh, to help guide your climate and cuisine journey. And you'll definitely want to check out uh, uh, vegetarian blogger Cookie and Kate, who's a national blogger, but she's located right here in Kansas City. So thanks to everybody for listening to how our food choices can directly impact our environment. And we appreciate everybody who ordered a meal from our featured restaurants and farms, and we were proud to be able to help support them during the pandemic. We want now to recognize the individuals and the organizations who are partnering with BTG to make a difference. We have the most fantastic supporters, starting with our gold level sponsors, the Lori Bamba Foundation, and our board chair, Kay Johnson, and her husband, Bill Koenigsdorf. And next, our silver sponsors, Bear Crop Science and Evergy, formerly Kansas City Power and Light, the Kansas City Parks and Rec Division, and Sarah and Jonathan Baum, all of them long-term friends and supporters. Thank you. At the bronze sponsor level, we have Bob and Libby Berkebile, Jeff and Michelle Hall, Burns and McDonald, the Hallmark Corporate Foundation, the Hargroves Family Foundation, Jackson County Legislature, mm -hmm. the Kansas City Industrial Council, Site One Landscape Supply, Spire Natural Gas, Waste Management, and my husband, Frank Riott. And finally, our event sponsors, Joan and Earl Adam, Cross First Bank, the Kansas City Water Services Division, Missouri Organic Recycling, and Mary Ram of Reuben Brown and her husband, Paul. Thank you to all of our sponsors this evening. Thank you. We also want to recognize our restaurants and farms tonight. Thank you, Chef Faust with Black Sheep, Chef Justin Clark with Urban Cafe. That's where our meal came from. And, and it, it was, was delicious. It was wonderful. And that is a black owned uh, restaurant. It is. And Chef Kara Anderson with Verbena. Our featured farmers are Rebecca Graff and Tom Ruggieri with Fair Share Farm, Gail Fuller with Fuller Farms, 
Sarah Hoffman with Green Dirt Farm, Chris DiGirolamo with Missing Ingredient, Linda Hazel with Prairie Birthday Farm, and Brooke Salvaggio and Dan Hurrier with Herbivore Farm. We're also excited to share a very, very fun opportunity, a golden ticket trip that you can win right from your living room tonight, you all. We'll draw the winner after our live auction concludes, so listen how you can win. We are selling only 150 tickets for $100 each. You can purchase as many tickets as you want on your phone, but only 150 tickets will be sold. If your name is drawn, you get to select your choice of one of the following destinations for you and one other person. The destinations are, these are wonderful, so I just wanted to get you all prepared for that. A three-night weekday stay for two in Napa. Airfare is included in this, and so we recognize that some people might not want to travel by airfare, so we've also included two where you can drive to. So we have our second trip, which is a $1,000 shopping spree with Saks Fifth Avenue, um, a consultant in Chicago, plus a two-night stay for two at the Fairmont Millennium Park as well as our um, number three golden ticket trip, a guided Nashville tour. After you drive into Nashville, you can go see the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum and the Ryman Auditorium with a three night stay for two at the Lowe's Vanderbilt Hotel. All of those sound wonderful. I know, we all <laughs> would like to get away. Yes, yes, yes. All right, thank you so much, Cecilia. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to turn everything over to our auctioneer, Trisha Brower of Taking Bids Fundraising, and this is her second year with Helping Bridging the Gap. Welcome, Trisha. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for having me, Kristen. I really appreciate that warm welcome, so thank you. Now it's time for my favorite part, the time where we get to raise some money for this amazing organization. Everyone should have their cell phones or iPads ready to bid. All bids and donations will be placed through your devices tonight. Now, if you haven't done so, you can still register, but you will do that by visiting bridgingthegap.org and click on the live stream link. If you already have registered, go ahead and click on the link in the email that you received. Now, what can you do with that link? This is where all the fundraising action is taking place. So you can go purchase your golden ticket right now. You heard about those three amazing trips and who doesn't wanna go on one of those? This is your opportunity to not only support Bridging the Gap, but also be entered in for that raffle. Also, it is where we're going to take bids on any of the auction items and also where we're going to raise money for Bridging the Gap's fund in need. Now, while you're getting your devices ready, please watch this informative video, video on the vision of bridging the gap. Enjoy. What if everyone who lived in this beautiful city could enjoy its natural beauty every day? What if everyone lived within a stone's throw of a forest saw our city as a forest? What if we remembered how the land used to grow? What if we always remembered that the earth on which we stand and the waters from which we drink and the air which we breathe are what give us life and are part of our bodies? Would we do things differently then? What if everyone kept in mind that everyone lives upstream and downstream from someone else? What if we got back in sync with the natural cycles and rhythms of the earth? What if nothing could be wasted, not even time? What if we grew the food we eat on the same land that we call home? What if everyone had an honored seat at the table and a safe place to lay their head? What if neighbors took care of each other? What if we expanded the definition of neighbor? Who could be excluded then? What if public health and environmental health are one and the same? What if everybody's work was fully valued 
and everyone was essential. What if all talents and skills were cultivated and respected? What if business and community and environment were more like family? What if climate change is an opportunity for us to change? Are we ready to work together? What keeps us apart? What keeps us apart? What keeps us apart? What if we could build a bridge between the way things are and the ways we dream them to be? When is a better moment than now? When is a better moment than now? When is a better moment than now for bridging the gap? We have reached the most important part of the why we are here tonight, the opportunity for us to come together as a community and help create the change that we wish to see in the world. At this time, I invite you to help us raise much needed funds in the part we call Fund the Need. At this time, go ahead and grab your favorite device. I have my iPad here to keep an eye on all the money that's being raised and click on the link that you received. Click on Make a Donation. And there, you will see various amounts of giving. And as I talk about the different levels of giving, I'd like to discuss what the funds will be used for in our community, and also take a few moments to pause and recognize some of our donors. And so, when I get to that level that is meaningful to you and your family, go ahead and click on that button and use the chat feature below to be cheering everybody on as we raise funds for Bridging the Gap. Now, our first level of giving tonight is at the $5,000 level. Now, if you believe green spaces help, us make a, help make us all happier and healthy, this is your time to donate. Bridging the Gap leads efforts to protect and restore our regional tree canopy, which cools our city and our prairies, which sequester carbon and provide habitat for endangered species and bees. And if you're able to support us at that level, please click on the, the donation at this time. Now our next level of giving is at the $2,500 level. And if you were to donate at $2,500, what your money could support is where an economy where everything is reused and, and we eliminate waste, please donate. Bridging the Gap helps 90,000 Patrons a year recycle at the KCMO drop-off centers. 90,000 people. How absolutely amazing is that? Talk about creating change in our, in our community. And I'm starting to see donations come in. Dave Welland coming in at $2,500. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Show some love to Dave in the chat below. My studio audience is going crazy right now because this is how we create change right here in Kansas City. So keep those donations coming in. I wanna keep seeing that thermometer go up and go up and go up. And our next level of giving is at the $1,000 level. And if you believe in getting, a lit in getting litter off the streets and out of our waterways, please donate. Bridging the gap gets people out in neighborhoods and streams and cleaning them up. Such a cool initiative. And so if you're able to donate at that level, please throw those donations in now. And we did get one coming in at $1,000. Jane Voorhees, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming in at our $1,000 level. We appreciate you so very much. Show Jane some love in the chat below. Yes, my studio audience showing some love as well. Ladies and gentlemen, you should see the little dance they're all doing back there as we watch the thermometer up. It is absolutely amazing because they know the great work Bridging the Gap is going to be able to do with these funds raised here tonight. Our next level is at the $500 level. 
Energy and water efficiency is vital because it reduces greenhouse gas emissions and reduces people's utility bills. Please donate. Bridging the Gap is inside challenged households all over the city, installing devices that reduce those burdens. Talk about an amazing initiative. Now, I'm seeing that thermometer continuing to rise. I'm going to pause in a few moments and recognize a few donors. But before I do, I'd like to talk to you about the $250 level. At $250, if you are worried about climate change, that environmental progress has slowed in the pandemic, please donate. Bridging the Gap works with groups all over the region to prepare for climate change and advocate for resilience. And if you're able to donate at that $250 level, now is the time to do so. Let's see some of those donations coming in. So thank you to Jeff and Michelle Hall Pritchard for your $500 donation. We had Jenny Moore for $250 donation. We thank you so incredibly much. Yes, let's hear some cheers from the studio audience. Make sure that you're showing some love in the chat below as well. Oh, I just love watching this thermometer go up. It is really the coolest part. Now, the last level that I'm going to talk to you about is the $100 level. And if you believe in removing barriers to employment and helping people get jobs in green industries, please donate. Bridging the Gap teaches landscaping, arbor of skills, and so much more. Now, I don't know about you, but I can spend $100 pretty quickly and not even really think about it. Maybe even just one trip to a local coffee shop takes that $100. So just make one small change in the next few weeks and donate that money here tonight because I cannot think of an initiatives that are, not, that are affecting all of us more than what Bridging the Gap is doing. And so before we wrap up the official fund and need portion of tonight, let me recognize just a few more donors who are coming in. David and David Barland, thank you so incredibly much. Dory Johnson, we thank you. Keith and Margie Pence, thank you so very much. This is also live TV, ladies and gentlemen. I'm reading these names for the very first time. If I say your name incorrectly, I apologize sincerely on this, on that one as well. Tom Jacobs, thank you. Deborah Smith, Eric Rogers, we thank all of our amazing donors here tonight. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to keep the program move, moving on, but there is still plenty of time for you to donate to the Fund in Need. At any point throughout the evening and into tomorrow, just grab your device, click on Donate, and therefore, you will be able to support Bridging the Gap. Now. We're going to switch gears, and we're going to move into the amazing live auction. Now, this is typically one of my more favorite components of the evening because it's where I get to talk fast. And so if we were all in the room together, it would sound a little bit of something like this. All right, would you bid 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 900, 900, sold, $800. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I love doing that, but in the virtual world, it doesn't really work that well, but you know what does work well? Bidding on our devices. So grab that device right now and find these amazing items. I'm gonna highlight some of our featured auction items, but make sure that you read the complete description when placing your bid. The first one, Stargazing 101. This package is one of my absolute favorites in all the auction. Take your stargazing game to a whole new level with this amazing astronomy opportunity utilizing one of the largest private telescopes in Kansas City. You and nine of your friends can tour the Milky Way galaxy observing planets, dying stars, giant star clusters, and satellites as they orbit overhead. Experience this solar education while enjoying a mixed selection of six sustainable wines for you and your stargazers. The observation site will be approximately 70 miles away, so you can observe at a dark site away from the city lights. You can camp overnight, and the site will accommodate small RVs and tents. Now again, ladies and gentlemen, this is one of our very popular items. Bidding on this item has been going crazy all day. So again, check out Stargazing 101. Next up, where are my cheese fans? Do we say Kansas City? Cheese! You're going to want to... Uh, elevate your sports memorabilia by taking home this Kansas City Chiefs autographed Tyreek Hill jer jersey. He is a two-time Pro Bowler and Super Bowl champion and was essential to helping the Chiefs win the, the Super Bowl in 2020. 
you are not going to want to miss out on this collectible item. So go Chiefs, yes. All right, now moving on, suds and celebrations. Now I know for many of us out there, we've had delayed birthday parties, delayed graduation parties, baby showers, retirement parties, get togethers of all kinds. This is your opportunity to get caught up. Your next party is planned for you. With the charm and decor of Old World Pub and access to an outdoor patio, the historic Boulevard Brewers Tap Room is where you'll be able to host your favorite 35 friends from six to nine on a Monday through Thursday. A selection of six to eight varieties of Boulevard beer on tap, plus wine and soft drinks also included, which makes the tap room the perfect turnkey space for an informal gathering. Included in this package is a voucher for a catered vegan style barbecue meal, compliments of organic soul. So thank you to our donors for this one. And again, what a great way to not only support Bridging the Gap, but also to have that party that you've been postponing during COVID. All right, next up, for my wine lovers out there, this is the package for you. Do not let COVID-19 take the happy out of your next happy hour. This virtual happy hour brings the beauty of Napa Valley into the setting of your home. This experience includes nine bottles of wine. Yes, you heard me correctly. I said nine bottles of wine with shipping and handling for up to three addresses. You will get to enjoy a private 50 minute virtual tasting with an experienced vineyard host who will guide you and your guests through a live discussion of the wines as you overlook the estates of the vineyards. What a great way to not only experience some amazing wines, but also have a little bit of change of scenery, even if it's through your TV or favorite device, while helping to support Bridging the Gap. Now our next featured auction item. Are you ready for this? This is also one of my favorite ones. This is the showstopper we call Hamilton. Bring the lights of Broadway to your living room with this virtual Hamilton Broadway hangout. Yes, your group of 10 guests can learn the backstage secrets and ask Hamilton cast members anything. Join a group of incredibly talented performers to learn how they got their big break, the challenges of the show, and how they maintain excellence playing so many different roles all over the world. Now, if Hamilton's not your thing, you can also select from Broadway's Wicked or Mean Girls. You will get to have your event on a mutually agreed upon date and learn the secrets of the stars. What a cool experience, and you know what? Only at Bridging the Gap can you get to bid on this tonight. Now, ready for another change of scenery? This is a vacation getaway. Enjoy a seven-day stay in a stunning Lake Michigan log, log and stone cabin, Welland College, uh, near New Era, Michigan, which is about a three-and-a-half-hour drive outside of Chicago. The cottage has four bedrooms, so I was sleeping for six adults, and also has three-and-a-half bathrooms. Perched high above Lake Michigan with an outdoor patio overlooking the sparkling rolling waves below, enjoy flaming nightly sunsets with a cocktail in hand. A private staircase leads down to the beautiful lake with a private white sand beach with miles of walking. Nearby are national dune parks and a miniature golf at, miniature golf at Silver Lake, Michigan. There's also a golf course, blueberry picking, and there's a fun town such as Pintwater and other joys of the summer lake. What an absolutely great way to get out of your home, enjoy a change of scenery, and support Bridging the Gap. Remember, we're here tonight to bid generously and bid high, so keep an eye on these items, because I'm kind of keeping an eye on my iPad here and seeing this bidding keep going up, up, and up. That's why we're here. Now, before I go, I want to talk about Pick Your Paradise. You're going to notice that this is set up just a little bit differently. It's not the traditional auction style. It is a buy it now opportunity because we want to send as many folks to Mexico who would like to go. Winners of this trip will relish seven luxurious nights in oceanfront properties in one of four Mexican locations. So I'm going to talk about that for a second because the winner will get to choose one of the four diamond luxury grand Mayan resorts in either Acapulco, Nuevo Vallarta, Cancun Riviera Maya, or Las Cabos. So let me, let me reiterate that. The high bidder, or the winners on this trip, all you gotta do is click the instant buy it now, and you will get to go on this amazing vacation. Now, 
You don't even have to decide where you want to go tonight. You have tons of time to decide when, uh, when and where you're going to go because this, you have 12 months to book it, 24 months to take it, so tons of time. Now, I personally have been on this vacation twice. I cannot say enough good things about it. Believe me, you want to go on this vacation. So each property boasts high-end amenities, comfort-filled accommodations, and the very best service that Mexico has to offer. Believe me, I can attest to that. It is absolutely that is absolutely true. You will enjoy endless pools, world-class restaurants, shopping, live entertainment, spas, and activities for all age. So like I said, the, the people who buy this tonight, you have 12 months to book it, 24 months to take it. You get to choose between the four locations. And again, it's for seven nights, two adults, and up to two children under the age of 12. You can upgrade to a larger room for an additional fee. So ladies and gentlemen, once again, we are here to raise much needed funds for bridging the gap. And so make sure that you bid on all the amazing auction items and also support through the fund to need. We thank you so much for your amazing generosity and remember to bid generously and bid often. Are you ready? I'm ready. To, to announce the winner of our golden ticket and then our top chef. Absolutely. So can we get a drum roll, please? <laughs> so the winner of our golden ticket, those were the three trips, is Meredith McAllister. Woo! Congratulations, yeah. Meredith. Very good. Another drum roll, please. <laughs> and the winner of our top chef is Edna Hamera. Congratulations, Edna. Top Chef Rick Mullins from Cafe Sebastian is going to come into your home and prepare a meal just for you. That sounds delicious, it right? It does. The live auction will close in one hour, you all, so please make your final bids. The silent auction is extended until tomorrow afternoon and will close at 5 p.m. Checkout and payment will begin in 10 minutes. You'll be notified on your smartphone about which items you won. You can claim your items at our BTG headquarters in the coming weeks. Thank you, Cecilia, and thank you everybody for tuning in tonight and all of the wonderful ways that you support Bridging the Gap. We feel like we have the best friends and supporters in the world. I really wanna thank Trisha for doing a great job with the auction, mm -hmm. Cecilia for being a wonderful MC, and the fantastic auction angels who've really planned the whole event, woo, woo, woo. Uh, Ami Freeberg from our staff who's been very involved, and Hi, uh, our programs directors, um, what is her name, Keisha Smith again? <laughs> um, who's been really uh, Zooming with everybody for yes. the last hour. So thank you all so much. It was fun getting dressed up with yes. you, putting a little lipstick on. Mm -hmm. And thanks for the great support for BTG. Good night, everybody. Thank you.